Today, we're going to look at a different way for doing multiplication. It's called the lattice method. Some may argue that it's faster, while others don't think so. Either way, I'm going to show you how to do it so you can make up your own mind. Let's walk through one example with small numbers, and then we'll add another one that has larger numbers. Example 1. Multiply 325 by 6. We start by drawing our boxes or rectangles that represent the lattice. We have three columns for the 325 and one row for our 6. Each one of those boxes now represents different places in our answer. We draw a diagonal line through each one of these boxes. The diagonal lines represents 1 spots, 10 spots, the 100 spot, thousands, and so on. So let's start multiplying. We start on the right-hand side and work our way to the left. 5 times 6 is 30. We put the 3 digit here and the 0 digit on the bottom section. Next, we multiply 2 times 6. We enter 12 by putting 1 here and 2 here. Finally, we multiply 3 times 6. We write 18 just like the other numbers. Now, what we'll do is add our diagonal rows together. Our first diagonal is 0, and we place that number here. The next diagonal, we add 2 plus 3, and we get 5. Next column, 8 plus 1 is 9, and finally, 1 by itself is 1. 1,950 is our answer. Example 2. Let's multiply 423 times 18. To set up our lattice grid, we have three columns to put our 423 up top and two rows for 18. Let's add our diagonal lines and start multiplying. 3 times 1 is 3. The way we write a single digit is to put 0 up top and 3 at the bottom. 3 times 8 is 24. Next column, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Last column, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 8 is 32. Now let's add them all up. We have 4 first. Next is 3 plus 2 plus 6, which equals 11. We put a 1 down here and carry the other 1 over to the next column. The next column is going to be 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 6. Moving on, we have 3 plus 4 equals 7, and 0 is 0. We look at the numbers from left to right. We can ignore that 0 as our answer is 7,614. Now, I'm not sure if this is any easier than performing long multiplication, but it does give you a different perspective on how to solve these problems. If you were able to follow along, drop me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.